Wonder shall never end. Everybody must hear this today, not today. Yes, come in. Oh, Sister Melissa, welcome to my house. Thank you. Please, have a seat. I'm surprised to see you, I hope no problem. It look like you don't know what is going on. What is it? Help me understand. Do you know that our pastor was caught sleeping with Sister Virginity? The news is everywhere. Wonder shall never end. No wonder every time you see him, you must see him with Sister Virginity, and they will be pretending to be doing the work of God together. Who knows? They are doing something else. Please don't be offended. How did you find out? Sister Mercy told me. Sister Mercy told you, and you believed it, something you did not see with your eyes. So you don't know that? Our pastor is a womanizer. You see, beloved, what we use our mouths for is what we will become in the future. Some use their mouth to eat haphazardly. They are not selective in what they eat. This has a tendency of destroying your body, which is the temple of God. Others use their mouths to talk ungodliness, gossip, blasphemy, cursing, which will runs down the work of the ministry of Christ. Saying things you did not see with your eyes can be a sin to you. Our mouth is meant to speak the praises of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Psalms 145 verses 21. Please learn to speak what you see with your eyes, in a Christian way, not like unbelievers. They speak without the fear of God in them. They speak to destroy, not to build. They speak to condemn, not to correct. They speak with hatred, not with love. But we as a Christian, our speaking should be for glorification of God. Our gossip should be a good gossip. Good gossip goes to further the work of Christ Jesus, while bad gossip bring his work down. So which of these two are you using your mouth for? I hope you are using it for good gossip, so that you can be blessed. Okay, I heard you. Thank you very much, but remember to put what I just told you in practice, learn to be like Christ. I will be going. Bye bye. Oh, I have suffered, can you imagine that small girl of yesterday preaching to me? I knew it, I knew is not only Sister Virginity, our pastor is sleeping with, he is sleeping with this one as well, that is why she is covering them. They will be claiming they are Christians, why committing abomination, if not, why must a pastor be going out with a woman, not only a woman, but a married woman for that? Neighbor, what happened? Why are you walking and murmuring? My sister see, that is why I don't like all these pastors of nowadays, they don't know God, they are using Christianity, to commit abomination. Do you know our pastor is sleeping with, all the whole women in our church, both married and unmarried, all of them, except me. What? Are you serious? My sister, that is what is happening, as I'm talking to you now. E, 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 people, must hear this. Very good, expose them, let the world know the truth. My dear, I want you to know that Jesus died for you. Give him chance in your life, make use of your grace, remember no repentance after earth. How dare you preach to me? Are you better than me? Abby you want to sleep with me too? The way you are sleeping with your church members. Now get out of my sight. You what to preach to me? Nonsense, cheap womanizer. Hello brother, I bring good news to you. What is the news about? I want you to know that Jesus died for you, and why you must give your life to him. Hey stop it, even if I want to hear the word of God, it will not be from you. Why brother, get out, before you collect my wife from me. Womanizer, pretending to be Christian. Oh, God, I'm tired of this. All my church members have leave me, no one what to listen to me. They accuse me of what I know not. I don't think I can continue, no one cares to listen to me, nor attend my church. Everyone that sees me wish me dead, forgive me Lord, but I can no longer continue. Yes, yes, that is it don't you want to save them come and save them let me see my daughter thank you for helping me you are doing my work very well sister in Christ of course we are children of God 
and do not take nonsense. You lied. You can't be a child of God when you are working for the devil. Do you think killing somebody is only when you use cutlass or poison? No. When you destroyed someone face you have killed the person. When you destroyed someone heart, you have killed the person. In this case you not only kill the pastor, but you have killed those who could have given their life to Jesus, but did not, because they choose to listen to your gossip, and their blood will be on your head. God did not make you a judge, God did not make you a condemner, God did not make you a criticizer, God did not make you a destroyer, He has asked you to build, He asked you to correct, not to condemn, He has asked you to love, not to hate, he asks you to build not to destroy. When you find someone mistake, your duty is to correct, with love, that is what Jesus wants you to do. Your mouth was created by the Lord, to praise and worship Him. Hebrew 13 verse 15 to 16, Also, your mouth was given to you by God to chart a good course for your life. Proverb 12 verse 14 Learn to use your mouth well, and God will bless you, people will also admire your life, and bless you, dear beloved, what are you using your mouth for? Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe, like and share. God bless you. And remember that Jesus loves you, be like him.